Hey there, Twisted Sage here. Uh, Jesus is currently 2 degrees Aquarius. Uh, moon is 13 degrees Taurus. Um, things felt a little mellow for myself. Um, I'm a little nervous to see... Um, let me make sure I don't drop my fucking phone here. <laughs> Sorry for the shakiness. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm a little bit nervous about um, now that I checked the, uh, the, the natal wheel, the, the wheel of the moment. Um, so the moon moves uh, one degree for every two hours. Yeah, that's right. Um, so, right when I'm going to be leaving the ski resort, the fucking moon's going to be squaring um, my son, and then basically T-squaring my son and my rising. Uh, it's been a good, good day. <laughs> um, as far as... I feel on here. I don't like the way that looks. Yeah, fuck it. Um, oh, reflection. Uh, oh, I guess obviously if you've been watching me in in recent videos, you know the cops have been fucking with my ass. Or the it's the cosmos, you know. It's a Whatever shape and form it wants to take, if that makes sense. So I kind of have a theory of, okay, you might be able to lessen, hmm, interesting, lessen the blows that occur or the frictions or the squares or the frustrations, but you can't bypass them. If you've karmically come into a life to experience certain things, like, once you're in the river, you're along for the ride. Um, I think that's probably one of the greatest tools that uh, astrology has to offer us. Um, that's perhaps why I escape in this world here. And I've said this to many people is uh, in my now ninth season working here at Sunrise is there really isn't uh, a, a, a place I'd rather be on earth than here. I've had some of my favorite experiences, best moments of my life here. Um... But I have a Capricorn Venus, so a love of career is a part of my path. Um, but yeah, the, with that, the, the moon squaring, T squaring, my rising and sun, you can imagine, well, because Taurus kind of rules it rules my mid heaven and into my 10th house. But the 10th house is also Capricorn territory. Where does Capricorn rule? Authority. Um, so yeah, I need to get this windshield replaced and screw my mirror back onto my truck. Um, a few months ago, I had uh, an elk run into me Actually, it was on the full moon. Full moon in Aries, in fact, it was. And it took out my... I got to get another shot of the Jesus here. Yeah. Can you see why? Isn't that an amazing view? You don't get that down at the, the bottom of Earth. Not that there's... Okay, there's amazing scenes to see everywhere, but... Hey, we're closer to God up here, baby. 
Um, but yeah, I guess that I'm not, yeah, it makes me feel like, okay, am I going to get pulled over again? I did sign up to the, the soonest I can get my windshield replaced is like, um, not until Monday. But if if you look at when I got those last two driving on suspended driver's license tickets, it's, um, it was the end of Capricorn. Like the the two la 28, 29 degrees Capricorn authority coming down on my ass. So where did how did this mess start? It started. Um, oh yeah, okay. So it started back in October when. Pluto came direct, sitting conjunct my fucking um, conjunct conjunct my Venus. You know, Pluto doesn't bring happy moments in life. It's friction. Hey, lot boys. Hey! <laughs> uh huh. See, there's a there's connection. Clarice has that disconnect, but it rules the people. You see, part of the reason I love this job is I get to be me. I get to be me. I get to let my Leo shine. Let my air talk. I get to be an athlete, teacher. Ah, uh, definitely feeling a little slow in the end. Um, Taurus being the slowest fucking sign there is. My return student I have, he's a little Gemini man. Um, apprehensive fellow. He's definitely not a, a all in. He uh, really aware, but he uh, I can't get him off the guided. So I use a piece of bamboo as a, kind of like a training wheel, and he won't let go of the stick. Um, but he's doing all the work on his own, and I've had him like three. At least three occasions now, but he just will not let go of the guidance. The training room. Um, where is that going with that? Oh. So, as I, obviously, if you watch me long enough, I try to correlate every moment or every day, every experience to um, to life itself. Where's the moon? How's that affecting my world? Um... So, and just connecting the dots. So this little dude being a Gemini, and I know nothing else about his chart, um, he, uh, oh, if you, if you put, if you decide to do like sun sign astrology, that would put Venus, I'm sorry, Taurus, or the moon, a Taurus moon would be in his 12th house. Um, so in a certain sense, it's kind of, a could be a bit of a dark moon, uh, for my young student and, or, you know, feeling the spirit. He definitely, what made me think about it was he didn't really want to keep going. He, he was, he was done after about an hour of skiing and, you know, I tried everything to keep talking him in. 
to, hey, let's keep going. And he just kept telling me he was done. I'm tired. And so that made me think, okay, he's a Gemini. So one thing I've always noticed is when, when the sun is in, or I'm sorry, when the moon is in uh, Pisces, people, uh, it seems to be a sleepy moon. People are tired. Uh, like I've noticed people get tired or sleepy, yawny at underneath a Pisces moon. So when we're talking 12th house, we're potentially also talking the good old Pisces vibes. <laughs> you missed my lot though. <laughs> Um, for those that don't know, lot in Apache means dick. Um, but yeah, so, 12th house matters, that's, that's always the house of Pisces, regardless of, uh, whatever sign is ruling that house. So, like, in my case, being a Leo rising, and because we go with Placidus, which gives you more of a Virgo type precision about things. My 12th house is, is uh, I believe the term intersected by both Leo and Cancer. But if you're gonna do sun sign astrology, then, then that would make Capricorn my 12th house, being an Aquarius sun. Um, so, The 12th house can be the house of hidden, hidden issues. Um, yes, this is, we like to call this our office. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like a nap underneath this slow ass moon myself. But yeah, I figured, well, because the moon's in his 12th house as a Gemini sun, that maybe that's why he's feeling sleepy. He's feeling that Pisces dreamy, dreaminess. Anyways. Uh, as the cosmos turns.